Be Hiya, it's Davina from Cotton Confetti. Before I show you this journal, I've got something else to show you. I found this when I was sorting through my mum's stuff. My Christmas book, 1961. It looks pretty much like a junk journal to me. There's lots of different, different pages. And it's all about Christmas. A few sums in the back, of course. How super is that? So, I just remember always making books. So that was, that was fabulous. Anyway, this, I, I made this, this is the first thing I made in lockdown. I made it in March. Um, I've been collecting stuff for, for quite a few years. I've got this book called Being Davina by um, Davina McCall and unfortunately I had to um, had to change the inside a bit. Um, I'd been looking for this book for a while but my friend Margaret found it in a charity shop. I've put lots of pages in that relate to things I'm interested in. I haven't written everything in the book yet. I'm going to do that at a later date. I've used various things out of, out of this was um, from Moose Cafe where I like to go to in Liverpool. I've been to Liverpool for quite a while. I've just put a selection of pages in. I haven't um, put all the all the proper tags in, so I'll do that as I'm writing in the book when I use it. But I thought I'd show you before I started. This is just a little a little notebook. And I've sewn some fabric pieces of fabric together to make a little pocket. Use some of my dad's old music paper. Of course, I had to put Tim Holt's cards in. Uh, this is a an envelope with a from Vintage Needle Craft Kit, which is a free gift. There's a see-through pocket. is the center signature and in here there is some, there's some little journey cards in there. I'm, I'll, I'll decorate the ends of these when I when I come to do the book. I had to put the coronavirus information in and the envelope slightly too big but I think I'll I think I might attach it to a page somehow but I'll cut it down because I, I did I did want the vital information from the government about coronavirus. I've sewn on some of the pages. I've put some um, postcards in. Put some little quote cards in. Made that one to, to a little booklet. There's some pages out of wildflower books. Done a bit of Stamping on this page. That's the end of the first signature. This was a children's book. Oh, this, this is my personal letter from the Prime Minister, which is going in there. This is this is an envelope from my daughter. I'll put, pop that in there. Another little pocket. With a pocket here with some things from somewhere I like to order from. I think that's out from the heart. Because I had to have a Costa coffee bag in. Uh, oh, this is ledger paper that my daughter sent me from America. And this is another seed packet my door. I'd seen someone use online. And I sent my daughter off to some shop in America to buy it. So there's a little journaling card in there. And that's just attached to the page using a Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz packaging. A bit of music. This is another centre, the sweetie bag, with some tags inside. Some little pockets in here. Costa bag. 
Oh, I'd seen someone do this. I think it was a Wendy's Journal Adventures. She put some little tags in, in a, in one of these. Um, I might have to watch what she did again to see exactly what it is. And I, I think I might put something else in these, but just to give you an idea of what it was. Side of that, decorate some of the edges with punching. Another piece of um, Edith Holden book. This is the third signature. I think it's just got three signatures. This is a collage page I made quite a while ago. And stamped on the back. Another little pocket. Another little postcard that flips out. See a bit of journaling space on the back. This is a little envelope I made out of vellum. There's a pocket there. There's two little pockets there. They're just big enough to put my uh, train ticket to Liverpool in. And this is... Another little journeys card in there. And I've decorated this CD envelope with a little envelope with a journaling card in. Another part of the book. Lots of space to write stuff I like doing. I was. I was intending to do it about things I like I like doing, but I'm now going to do it about things that I used to like doing. I I, I use this because there's a little black cat on there. I might have to have a page about my cat. This is another faux envelope with a bit of journaling space inside. This is what I used to tell them at work. A party without cake is just a meeting. Sadly, not too many of those. Just more pages. More black. Oh, this is ragwort. I think I'll, I've got a photograph of a cinnabar moth, which like to their caterpillars like to feed on ragwort. So I think I might put some put my photographs of my cinnabar moths on here. more blank pages, another journaling card and coming to the end now. In the end I got bought this, um, these, these library pockets came from Fred Aldous and these cards I actually used, I trained to be a telephonist in, in 1969 I think it was and these were cards that we used for training and they were the, we used to mark the number the telephone number of the person calling and the number they were calling to tw was tunbridge wells and this was um a transfer charge call i think and so we had to write their names on so i've got a few of those cards which of course make fabulous journaling spaces so that's the end of my book thank you very much for watching Bye for now.